Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and this is your weekly angel card forecast for February 12th through February 18th, 2017. As always, I am pulling three cards from the angel card deck. One for your work and financial life, one for your love and romantic life, and one for your home and family life. This week I am using the Flower Therapy Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. We have all three cards, so let's get going. In your work and financial life, we have Emotional Healing, and the flower is Bleeding Heart, and the bottom says, it's safe for you to let go of old emotional pain. By doing so, you allow your heart to mend. So with this coming up in our work and financial life, it could be a couple different things that are coming to me right now. So the first thing that's coming to me is like, do you ever have a job that you just did not like? <laughs> like you didn't get along with your coworkers and every day was going into, going to work was like a huge emotional drain or, you know, coworkers or bosses or you didn't like like the actual job that you were doing. Um, same thing again and every day going into work was like a huge drain or every day you'd come home and you'd just be like god I hate that job <laughs> but you couldn't leave you know because sometimes you don't have the ability to leave without having something new lined up so you just keep doing it until you can get something new right so this is healing that and letting go of it okay also uh, the other way this was presenting itself to me was emotional healing with regard to partners and finances. It could be that you were in a relationship like a marriage or something and when you, if you got divorced for example, like you're just saddled with tons of debt or where you did have a two income household, you're now figuring out how to try and do it all on your own with just one income and you're kind of having a hard time keeping your head above water or um, you know those are about separate partnerships or if you're in a current partnership and you're getting a little frustrated perhaps because your partner is maybe spending too much money on something or spending money that you think is not optimally spent <laughs> something that's like frivolous you're like we don't need to buy whatever thing like we don't need a, the newest shiniest iPhone or something <laughs> you know like what we have is not broken and it works fine and stop buying things we can't afford to buy those things right now and you're getting a little like frustrated with their use of finances so this card is saying, however, you know, I just gave two scenarios, a work and a financial scenario. Um, this is about healing it and letting it go and releasing it into the universe. Know that, you know, you're being taken care of. <laughs> Let go of those frustrations and that emotional pain because hanging on to it is only hurting you. In your love life this week, we have... Shield yourself. And this, I can never pronounce this flower right. I'm going to say it, and I'm sorry if I hack it. If I do, and you know how it's supposed to be pronounced, tell me below. Uh, Bougain Villa, I think. The bottom says, invoke protection to bring this situation to a speedy end. So, there's a flower. Some of you might not be having the greatest week right now in your love life. You might have some things that you're holding on to that you need to be releasing. This is saying, you know, speeding, speeding and speedy ends. Sorry, I have a hard time getting that out. Invoke protection to bring the situation to a speedy end. So ask the angels, ask the universe to help you release whatever you need to be releasing, to let a situation go, to resolve it once and for all. Um, Again, the card is shield yourself. So you can always ask Archangel Michael to come in um, with his flaming sword and help protect you from any sort of negative energies or anything that's not helping you grow or helping you learn lessons or working in your 
best interest in life, um, however that may present itself to you, to protect you from those negative energies um, so you can just kind of focus on you and what you need to be doing to better yourself. In your home life, we have smile, and the flower is sunflower. Sunflowers do just make me smile. And the bottom says, simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes. If you find yourself getting frustrated, I know I do this all the time. If you find yourself getting frustrated, just pause for a minute, breathe, smile, regain your thoughts, reorganize your thoughts, and then proceed forward again. <laughs> because, I mean, you can get really frustrated sometimes with yourself, with other people, or you can just kind of surrender to it and know that we're all humans having a human experience and we're all kind of in this together. So why not just, you know, just make light of it. <laughs> I don't mean like in a picking on kind of way, just like, meh, you know, stuff happens, like, whatever, just smile and move on. Not even like, not like in a cocky like smile way, like meh, smile and move on. Like, no, like just meh, <laughs> like that. Like, I wish I had words to articulate this better and I just don't, it's frustrating me, which is perhaps why I'm just sitting here smiling. <laughs> like that, that's what you gotta be doing this week. <laughs> just when things aren't working out, just smile and you push forward because there's no reason not to, right? Because the alternative is to get frustrated and we can't just shut down every time we get frustrated. We gotta just keep going. That's what we've got this week. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you wanna get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull an angel card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.